Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm not much of a math guy, uh, but I do love graphics. And because I love graphics, I, I love watching charts and uh, data. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of neat to see numbers interpreted in a different fashion. Because you can stare at numbers all day long, and unless you're an actuary or an accountant or something like that, I mean, it's just kind of like, just a bunch of numbers, right? Oh, um, three, it's a magic number. Oh, yes, it is. But I'm not a, not a good singer. So I'm not going to sing again. I am going to tell you how you can create a graph or a chart simply by typing in a web address. You can generate a graphic or a chart based on numbers that you input in a link, a URL, a web address. Get this. Today, Google announced an API, that stands for Application Programming Interface, that will allow you, anybody, to create a chart simply by typing in a URL. So let's say you're, you're, you're trying to construct um, you know, some data to show to people. Well, you could either open up your spreadsheet program, type in a few numbers, generate the chart, export the image, save the image, upload the image. Oh God, that's just crazy. Or you could construct the same image in a URL. And you separate each of these values by ampersands. I know this sounds complex, it sounds crazy, but yes, Google is making it easy for anybody to create a chart or a graph simply by typing in a web address. That's as easy as it gets. And in fact, I wouldn't be surprised if some developers out there will be creating tools to make it even easier for you to generate charts and graphs off of just typing in a simple URL. Now the website where you can find out more about it and see how simple it is, it really is easy. Code.google.com forward slash APIs, that's APIs, forward slash C-H-A-R-T, forward slash chart. Code.google.com forward slash APIs, forward slash chart. And right up front, you'll see it's a developer's guide. Don't be scared. They give you a little link here, and you're looking at it, I'm like, well, what is that link? Well, that link generates an image. Ah, that is so cool. So you can change, instead of having to, let's say, open up the spreadsheet, create the image, etc. Let's say you screwed something up. You exported the image, you realize, oh, it's screwed up. Well, to regenerate the image, you'd have to go through the whole process again. Whereas if it's just generated from that URL, and all the, the data that's sitting inside that image or is actually sitting inside the URL, you just need to change uh, maybe a number or two inside that link to generate a completely different image. You're generating an image, more importantly, a rich image with data. So instead of having to construct a spreadsheet, as long as you know how to use uh, Google's chart API, you can create, well, let's say here, I'm gonna go down here, uh, a line chart, a scatter plot, a bar chart, a Venn diagram. I love Venn diagrams. A pie ch and I'm not kidding. You can also do a pie chart with 3D and everything. Um, yeah, 3D charts for the win. A Venn diagram is cool if you're trying to explain uh, data that's not necessarily mutually exclusive. So I live in Seattle. There's a bubble there. I live in Seattle, but I also live in Washington, and I happen to like uh, Canon digital cameras. Well, in a Venn diagram, I'm right in the middle because I'm a part of all three of these data sets. I, I realize it's probably a really bad way to explain a Venn diagram, but remember, I like the whole graphical interface to data, not just the numbers themselves. Graphs help you tell a story using numbers as their structure. And if you do anything with numbers, this thing you, you're going to be freaking out over because it's, it it's, it's going to be fun to build charts and data. You know, especially if you've got the data already and you just want to create a nice little uh, a graphic without having to uh, edit uh, you know, a spreadsheet. You can do it all from a URL and Google will create the image for you. So you can create, you can edit from the URL, from the same, that web link, a link. You know, in your address bar, that's a link, that's a web URL, it's a, you know, you create the image basically by changing things in that URL. And this page will show you how to do it. Uh, you can change chart titles, uh, you can set up a legend, all from the same link. 
uh, colors, chart and background fill, multiple access labels, grid lines, shape markers, horizontal range markers, vertical range markers, line styles, fill area, and pie chart labels. Of course, the pie chart labels is only applicable if you're doing a pie chart. And, and you know, since when did pie get all the, you know, the fame for, for these charts? I mean, what about cake? I mean, I mean, to me, those pie charts look more like cake. Why don't they call them cake charts? And was the pie lobby, you know, that much more powerful when they were setting this stuff up years ago? And what the, what's the deal with that? You know what I'm saying? I always wondered that. Pie ch pies should look like that on, around the edges, and they never do. They're always straight, like cakes. So, you know, from this point forward, I'm going to call them cake charts. They're cake charts to me. That's, I'm, I'm make, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta push. I'm making a big uh, concerted effort. Cake charts are nothing else. So anyway, um, <laughs> that's how you can build a chart off of a, a URL or a link. So if you do anything with numbers or charts, forget about using a spreadsheet, <laughs> use the Google chart API. Gotta like it because this is the power of the web. Now, I, I'd be curious to know if, if you use any other tools like this. Uh, fun tools, uh, services out there on the web that not a lot of people know about that can help enhance, well, blog posts, uh, your profile pages, you know, whatever you might happen to do inside this world of technology. Let me know what you think. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Feel free to send me a link of a, of a chart that you've created. I'd be interested in seeing uh, what kind of data you got. You show me yours, I'll show you mine. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. And, uh, of course, you're also welcome to swing by our chat room. Don't know if we really are looking for pie charts or scatter plots in the uh, chat room, but, uh, well, you never know. If you've got something interesting to show us, we'd love to take a look. Send us your link. Well, don't do it too much, though, because then you might freak us out, and then my dog will have to bite you. He does. He, he bites people who, who invade the chat room and do bad things there. Now, now, you know where the chat room is, right? That's where we're typically talking tech, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You got it? You know where it's at? Look, read the chat room. It's happening. Happening right now. Right here. In this video. It's happening. You see the chat room being streamed into this video. You know where to go? That's right. Live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.